Simple, simple trend line, simple, simple break. It doesn't need to be difficult. And the Pepe community have absolutely battered this entry. So pat yourselves on the back. Here's what's next. And we're going to have a bit of fun in this video. We're going to talk about the significance of a simple trend break. We're going to talk about the significance of our moving average strategy and the significance of gaps. These gaps here, we talk about it all the time. When there's a lack of buildup of price action between these areas, people don't know where to put their sell orders. People will put them here, here here, here, here. What that creates is a lack of a sell wall. When you've got a lack of a sell wall, it means that the bulls can easily eat through these buy orders and continue momentum to the upside. And I'll show you exactly what I mean very shortly. So we look at the significance of a simple trend break. Let's go back to here. And we wanted three things to happen here. We wanted to take out the horizontals and then we wanted to break that diagonal. And then we wanted our moving averages flagging in the correct direction. What's the correct direction? This is the 200 daily moving average, the green one. We've got the 50 daily moving average, and then you've got the red one, which is the 20 moving average. We want the green at the bottom, we want the red at the top, and we want the yellow in the middle. So let's see what happens here. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Boom. You've got the break. That's our first signal. What's the next thing that we need as confirmation? We want a retest and we want our moving averages flagging in the right direction. That's going to give us another clue. You can see that they're bulking together. They're bulking together. And bam, you've got the green at the bottom. You've got the yellow in the middle. You've got the red at the top. That's our second signal. But what else has happened here? You've broken. You've retested this previous resistance as support. You've broken through. You've taken out the horizontal after you've broken the diagonal, and then this is the area that we need to beat. Once we've beaten this area, there's the gap. So what happens next? Bang, that's exactly what happens next. So we've had the gap, we've broken straight through, people didn't know where to put the sell orders, price action is absolutely smashing to the upside. So let's analyze current price action where we stand. What would I be waiting for now? Firstly, let's measure from its all-time high what resistance levels that it's broken through. It's all-time high to its bear market low. And you can see 786. So we're testing the 786 at the moment. If price closes above the 786, then you've got the 886 at your next resistance, and that's sitting at 396. Current price action is sitting at 319. And don't forget, you've got one, two, three, four, five zeros in front of that. A good measure, I'll just say 319. Okay, so we want to see how far price is going to retrace. This was our previous resistance. We've smashed through and we need to see what levels price is going to respect going forward. We can stick a FIB retracement from its previous low to its current high. If that is its high, you can adjust it as and when price action moves. So if it puts another high into the 886 at the end of the day, pull it back. And what you're looking for, you're looking for a healthy 382. Get rid of the old retracement from its previous high. You're looking for a 382 retracement in a healthy bullish trend. So if price action is going to continue to the upside, you want it to retrace here to the 382, which is sitting at sitting at 260. How is price going to react here? If price slows down like this, stick a simple trend line in, wait for the breaker trend, move to the upside. These trend lines are simple but effective. Look, there's one trend, boom, bang to the upside. There's one trend, boom, back to the upside. There's another trend, boom, back to the upside. When something's happening in the price and you start changing trend, creating those higher lows and higher highs, it gives you that additional confluence that the price is going in your direction. You can start building simple, simple trend lines wait for the break, take advantage. And then when you hit these levels here, if you put your initial investment in there, if you put $200 in there and you've got $400, why not take your initial investment out? Let the other 200 run if you believe in it. If it comes back and accumulate at lower levels, take advantage of getting more out of the same amount of money and just use the appropriate risk management. Don't stick everything into these things. Small amount of your portfolio and you can take advantage of the gain. So if you did like this, I've got a playlist full of Pepe. Take care of yourself and goodbye from me.